All right, you guys, let's get into this Tuscan chicken. Ouchie! It's looking good. Oh, let's do it. I'm going to start off with three boneless chicken breasts. Just three. And this is going to be for a total of three people. And we're going to split this in half. So you'll have a total of six pieces. Then we're going to go ahead and get some oil, olive oil in a pan on a low setting. And we split those chicken breasts in half. So I have a total of six pieces of chicken. Six. And I've just seasoned those six pieces. Use whatever seasonings you like. I've got some Cajun seasoning, garlic salt, pepper, and some regular salt. And a little bit more oil in the pan. I'm gonna let that pan, uh, the oil get heated up and lay that in there. Y'all, it's so hard trying to record and lay chicken in that pan, but I got it done. I'm going to let that cook on each side. So you're going to lay all six of your pieces of chicken in the pan as best you can. You can squeeze them in. I'm using a pretty big pan because uh, these pieces of chicken are not little. And I had to switch hands just to get it right because I am right-handed. I am not a lefty. Hey to all my lefties, but I am not a lefty. <laughs> I try to be ambidextrous when I can. <laughs> when I can. All right, so we are letting this brown on each side. The smoke was kind of getting to the camera. But yes, we're gonna let it cook on each side. So you'll let that cook thoroughly on each side to your liking. So it's cooked thoroughly through and brown on each side. And we're just gonna go ahead and remove those out. They have cooked on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out and I am putting them on a plate. And those little brown bits in there, you see, we're gonna need those in just a few minutes. And um, that is going to be part of the sauce. So I have that on a pan to the side, letting the chicken just rest for a little bit. It's just hanging out for a second. While we go ahead and get this sauce worked up, our cream sauce, this is going to be a cream sauce. And so we're going to go ahead and let the, uh, we've lowered the heat on this. And these little brown pieces in there in the skillet, I'm going to add a pint of heavy whipping cream. Doesn't matter what brand you use, but it is going to be heavy, heavy whipping cream. I'm going to use all of that. And then while we're pouring that in there, we're going to let that heat up just a little bit. And then we're going to get ready to add our other ingredients. That heavy whipping cream with the oil and the uh, leftovers from where you cooked your chicken. So you are going to have some little black pieces in there. Those little black pieces you see is from the skillet, you know, the remains from the chicken from where we sauteed that. And again, we're using one pint of heavy whipping cream. And I've stirred that up. So you're going to stir it up so your cream sauce is not going to be white anymore. You're going to stir that up. And those little black pieces you see in there, that's from where we sauteed the chicken. That's what those little black pieces are. It's from the skillet. Then we're going to add a whole bag of Parmesan cheese. That's one and a half cups. Doesn't matter what brand you use or you're welcome to shred your own. But for time purposes, you know we have to use that pre-shredded Parmesan. But you're welcome to use um, fresh, excuse me, freshly shredded Parmesan if you'd like to do that. Parmesan cheese, that's totally up to you. But yes, those little black pieces, that's from the skillet. From where we sauteed that chicken. And I should have fished some of those out of there, but it'll be okay. <laughs> then we're going to do our fire roasted diced tomatoes you're welcome to use whatever brand you like but it is going to be diced a whole can is what you're going to end up needing but i started off with half that's half that we started off with i'm just going to stir that up 
and while that's stirring, you should have your heat on low. You want to have it on mid to low heat because you do want your Parmesan cheese to go ahead and start melting down. And you're just going to give that a good stir and let that warm up through there. And just uh, like I said, with the chicken, it's hanging out on the side. We're about to get ready to add that back in. And let that heat up just a little bit so the, the excuse me the parmesan can go ahead and melt down and i'm just stirring that again just to give it another little stir because i do want the parmesan to go ahead and melt down some more and i'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more tomatoes and you only need one can unless you like a lot of tomatoes one can is sufficient That one is going to be enough. This dish is super simple and easy. It takes a few minutes to make. It'll feed three to four people, maybe five. Uh, but this is for me and my two children. We're all going to eat two pieces of chicken a piece. So you will need to cook this. Uh, how many pieces of chicken you want to make is going to depend on how many people you're trying to feed but I did a total of six. So we each could have two, and I'm just stirring that up. Now it looks like my cheese is starting to melt and get a little stringy, so I am ready to go ahead and add my chicken into that in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there. I'm just going to lay it in there as best as possible. Try to squeeze all of it in. I had to push some out the way. But yeah, you're going to just go ahead and do like so as best you can and get that in there. And the pieces did cook down because they were a lot bigger than that. They did shrivel up just a bit, but I have to make a little space. And I'm just going ahead and put some of that cream sauce on top. And I'm going to add the tomatoes, the remaining tomatoes on top. If you want another can of tomatoes to be able to do this part, that would be okay. But I, I would say don't overdo it. But if you're a tomato lover, then go ahead. I'm not the biggest fan of tomatoes, but I do eat it in some dishes. I think I get that from my daddy. <laughs> So I did cover it up for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and let that kind of come to a boil just to get the cream to reduce down a little bit. Now we've let that cook for about 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. And now you have that creamy, uh, rich, creamy goodness of the heavy whipping cream. It is looking good. And now we've got that plated up. And I did it with mashed potatoes and asparagus. You're welcome to use whatever sides you like, but I love maybe broccoli and mashed potatoes, something green and a mashed potato or however you want to do it. And so, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this meal. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to click like and share and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about this dish. And I hope you would take the time to make it. It's super tasty, easy to make, and I'm sure your family will love it. Thanks again.